Diane and David Fine were stuck at home in Ontario last winter due to the pandemic. But this year, their annual migration to Arizona is back on. Since we're vaccinated, um, we feel a lot safer than we used to. The couple is flying to Buffalo with a company that is also driving their RV to Buffalo. So when the fines land, they can pick it up and head south. First time in a helicopter, eh? First time. You're going to love it. <laughs> the fines could drive into the U.S. on November 8th when the land border reopens to fully vaccinated travelers. But these snowbirds want to beat the rush. We just imagine it's going to be really crazy at the border. Long, long wait times. All the snowbirds are going to be converging at the same time. The Canadian Snowbird Association estimates less than a third of Canada's one million snowbirds traveled south last winter. But it predicts most will go this year. Now that we have the vaccines, now that we have the land border opening up, they're determined to make the trip down south now. You have over 70% of snowbirds that travel with their Canadian vehicles. Snowbird Fred Welsh also stayed home last winter, but this year the Newfoundlander can't wait to drive his RV to Florida. I am ecstatic. I'm over the moon and back again. Welsh is also anticipating long lineups at the border on November 8th, but plans to cross that day anyway. The sooner I get there, the better. I have a great passion for this sunny weather. It's kind of cold here in Newfoundland, and I do not want to spend another winter here in Newfoundland. But it's not all clear skies ahead for snowbirds. COVID-19 infections in the U.S. remain high. And health officials warn that traveling abroad still poses risks. Even so, for many snowbirds, one Canadian winter was enough. We're willing to play it safe and wear our masks and everything else to get the sun. For added protection, the Fines and Welsh plan to get a COVID-19 booster shot in the U.S., something they can't yet get in Canada. Sophia Harris, CBC News, Toronto.